Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Sunday the 18th of July 2021. Not a lot going on today, even though it's it's Sunday. Uh, there was a match tomorrow, but it was behind closed doors. We didn't get to see it, so I can't really talk any more about it because I don't really know what went on. Uh, during, the, during the league campaign, when there's a game, on the Sunday after the game, I go through the stats um that, that are published and we take a little look through them but today for the next couple of weeks until the season starts sunday's gonna be really boring and really dead and that's what today is as well so we're gonna see we've got two stories today the first one here so this is from the the courier.co.uk it's a dundee courier um it's a local paper in scotland and it's about Danny McNamara bigging up Aidan Muller. So let's have a little uh, read of this. Uh, Mill star Danny McNamara backs Hayden Muller to use St Johnston as Springville to success just like he did. Danny McNamara missed out on two cup medals after Mill cut short his St Johnston loan. But the Republic of Ireland under 21 defender, well he's grown out of that now, he's actually 22, so admits his successful spell at McDermott provided the platform for first team football in the championship. Now McNamara 22 is back in another mill youngster to further his education under Saints manager and former Lions number two Callum Davidson. Teenage centre back Aidan Muller has followed McNamara's route north for the border and he impressed in a 30 minute run out in Tuesday's 1-1 friendly draw, friendly draw with Preston North End. Ah so I didn't really know about that so he played in so I guess that's where that picture's from. They had a so they had a, a friendly with Preston North End who played 30 minutes, so... Nice. Uh, when Halen told me there was interest from St. Johnson, I told him to go. It's the best move for him, said McNamara, who clocked up 22 appearances for the Perth side before being summoned back to London by Mill boss Gary Rowe. The wing-back went on to be hailed the young player of the year at the den. Uh, and he admits those months at McDermott were usually influential in his career development. It's such a great club with a very good manager, said McNamara. Saints are getting themselves a good player. Hayden made a few first team to appearances for Mill towards the end of last season. He's so good on the ball, very calm and composed. Hayden is also good at one versus one defending. He will be a real asset to St. Johnson, I'm sure. He's only 19 and he's still learning. I actually think he's good enough to play for Mill right now, but he might not have got as many opportunities as he would like if he'd stayed. Going on loan to St Johnson and playing in the top league in Scotland would definitely help him, him progress. My loan spell helped me and I, Hayden will find he's, he's in a great dressing room. I know the lads uh, will help him settle in. Obviously Gary uh, Rowett thinks Hayden will be playing at a good standard otherwise he wouldn't have sent myself and then James Brown there last season. Scottish fo football sometimes gets looked down on but I know how good it is. I really enjoy testing myself against players like Borna Barasek and Ryan Kent at Rangers. But I was up against a pl uh, plenty of other players, quality players. McNamara's impressive form kept Sean Rooney until January, but he was delighted to see the powerful wingback make the most of his chance, scoring the winners in both cup finals to put his pen, it put his, uh, to pen his name in the Perth history books. I was jealous of the lads watching the finals on TV, McNamara admitted, but Sean is a great guy and, and no one was happier for him than me when he got those vital goals in the second half of the season. Um, St. Johnson in the Europa League. Yeah, so there you go. Um, so... McNamara um, bigging up the hammer there, which is nice. He didn't have to do that, but I, I imagine he got on the phone to the to the guy at the newspaper, uh, had a little chat with him, bigged up Aidan Muller, and there you go. Um, what a nice thing to do. Um, for the for the journalist and, and for Hayden Muller, not bad, eh? Um, and I didn't know they had a friendly. I'm not really keeping up with the friendlies. Uh, from St. Johnson, so we'll see how we'll see how he gets on. Uh, moving on now, so another young defender, Alex Mitchell. So this is from news at den.co.uk. 
And it says Mill defender involved in preseason games attracts transfer interest as Lions weigh up options. Alex Mitchell is a man in demand as Mill was set to make a decision on whether to send him out on loan again next season. The 19-year-old centre-back made his first senior appearance for the Lions in their 2 deal friendly win against Motherwell in Scotland last weekend. Mitchell was one of 11 changes at half-time and was part of a back three with Sean Hutchinson and Myron Wallace. Mitchell then followed that up with another 45 minutes in a 3-2 defeat to Watford on Wednesday. Mill will build their players um, from 45 minutes up to 90 minutes in pre-season friendly games, the last of which is currently scheduled at Ipswich the weekend before the start of the season. Mitchell was on loan at Bromley last season where he played 10 times as the South Londoners reached the playoffs before losing to Arlipool United in the quarterfinals. The plan for Alex is to feature in the early friendlies and then when we start moving towards 90 minutes to see where we are, what Scarry out said. Ryan Leonard is not far away from fitness, so when Lenny's fit, if we feel that Alex is not going to get much game time, we'll have a debate as to whether he stays with the group to help him develop technically and tactically, or whether we get him out playing games again. We've already had some inquiries. He's acquitted himself really well. He's a young lad who's not been with the under-23s that long, so to step up uh, quite quickly and not look out of place is testament to him and his character. He's done really well, and I'm quite excited to see how he develops further. So there you go, there you go. Two young uh, defenders um, seem to be doing well. And we'll see how they get on this season. See how they get on in pre season, see how they get on uh, in this season. Um, but it's looking good, isn't it? It's looking good. The team look good, uh, the youth look good, the youngsters look good. We've got a few youngsters coming through. It's all looking good. Um, fantastic that is it for today's uh, video I told you it was short thank you for watching goodbye